greetings one and all welcome to our youtube channel searching out the matter and the matter that we'll be searching out in this video is the name of our savior is his name jesus is his name yeshua or is his name yahusha and in searching out the matter we use the process of substantiation and elimination let's search so in searching out the matter we have found out that the new testament was written in greek then translated into english so by this, we know that Jesus' name is Greek. Let's search it out. So now looking at your screen, you can see the Greek letters that is in the name of Jesus. And in Greek, you can see that it's pronounced Jesus. Jesus. A I, a E, a S, a O, a U, and a S. Jesus. And that they say is Jesus. Okay, let's hold him to that. Okay, let's turn to the to the Greek Subtuagent. And what is the Subtuagent? The Subtuagent is the, the Greek form of the Old Testament. So the Old Testament that is written in Greek is called the Subtuagent. And if you look in the Subtuagent on the name Joshua, as you look at the, e, the, 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 the Greek word, it is the same as Jesus. The same thing as Jesus. Can you believe it? Yes, the same word that they have in Greek for Jesus is the same word that they have for Joshua. And then you must ask yourself, is that an error or that was willfully done? It was willfully done. Because in some scripture they would write Jesus and in some scripture they would write Joshua. For in Acts 7 verse 45 it reads, Which also our father that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drove out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David. And it also read, Having received the tabernacle of our fathers under, jo under Joshua, brought it with them, when they took the land from the nation, God drove out before them. It remained in the land until the time of David. So now you see with evidence that Jesus and Joshua have the same name, in the Greek Subtuagent, so we're not making things up. We're just be talking and based on facts. But we know for sure that the Son of the Most High, our Savior, was born in Bethlehem. He was called a Nazarene, so he was a Hebrew. For it reads in Luke chapter two, from four to seven, it says, Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of the lineage of David. And to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was, that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And seven, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in his swaddling cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. So we could see clearly, quite well, that the son of the Mosai was a Hebrew. Okay, one more. Matthew chapter 2, verse 21 to 23, and it reads, Then he arose, took the young child and his mother, and came into the land of Israel. But when he heard that Archelaus was reigning over Judea instead of his father, Herod, he was afraid to go there. And being warned by Yahuwah in a dream, he turned aside into the region of Galilee. 23. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, and it might that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets, he shall be called a Nazarene. So now we see that the son of the Mosai is not a Greek, he is a Hebrew, so he must have a Hebrew name. And now we know by facts, by researching, by evidence, that his name was translated from Hebrew to Greek and then to English, and we are now following the watermarks. Now that we are searching out the matter, let us turn to Revelation 2, verse 9. It says, I know your works and tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. I know the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not, but are synagogue of Satan. Those who say they are Jews and are not, but are synagogue of Satan. They have hated our Savior so much. You remember when they called for the crucifixion of Jesus, of, well, Yahusha, our Savior, and Pontius Pilate said to them, but I find no no guilt in this man. This is an innocent man. They say, crucify him. Bring us Barabbas, who is a known criminal. You know, Pontius Pilate said, I'm going to wash my hand of this. And they said, may his blood fall upon us and our children. 
even that to that extent they swear even upon their children and of course his blood did fall upon them in 70 AD in the destruction of the Jer Jerusalem but that is for another video now we're gonna look at this on your screen of the Jews that call themselves Jews they are oh they are trying to lie to us they are saying that this is how Jesus would have been written in ancient Hebrew documents the four letters are constant from right to left and we can see clearly that's that's not how Yahusha is spelled because as you see as you read, read, read in here he said no identification of this photo or where it came from there is no identification of this photo or where it came from they are saying this is a photoshop I call it a CGI computer generated image image this is not no ancient manuscript this is not no scroll from the Dead Sea Scrolls that were found in caves or anything like that no you know they're just trying to lie to us to try to deceive us who they are but we're going to continue to see you know what else or how more or how far they would go to aid the messiah how far they would go to aid the son of the mosai and here is essie menger uh, I, I think i butchered that name but you know forgive me he said he claimed that jews believed that they were forbidden to mention the name of false god well, that's true, because in Exodus 23, verse 13, the Mosai commanded his people, saying, Be circumspect that you don't call the name of other gods, don't not let it be found in your mouth. Right? So the commandment was given to them by the Mosai, Yahuwah, about false gods. But our Messiah wasn't a false god, but they hated him so much. So they, let me, let's just continue reading. So Jews believe that they were forbidden to mention names of false gods and instead were commanded to change and defame them to ch listen they were instead they were commanded to change and defame them so instead of calling the name of other gods they would just change the name of the god or defame them to give it a derogatory meaning of such sort and we know by this jesus in latin it means earth pig yeah, I am angry as you are. I'm just as upset as everyone who have heard this for the first time is upset. And every time I hear it, I am even more upset that they would want to do this. But we have found their secret. We have found their folly. For the most I have given us eyes to see and have waken us up from our sleep. For they have changed the name of the Mosai and also defamed his name. But let us continue to read and did so with jesus name as they considered him a false god they he argued that jesus original name was yeshua you're going to see that this is also incorrect as jews did not recognize him as savior this word mean Mashia, which is savior so here they have yeshu here and yeshua here as i said this is a cgi image this is not no scroll or no and ancient artifacts but let's continue or that he had even saved hoshia means himself that he wasn't risen from the dead and remember that they also asked for guards to stand guard at his tomb from pontius pilate because they knew that he that he heard they remember that he said he'd raise from the dead on the third day but of course not even the guards saw him raised because the angel let him fall asleep anyway they left out the iron iron mean the a at the end the A at the end. They left out the iron from the root meaning to save. So the first part of his name would have been his father's name because he said clearly that he came in his father's name. Didn't it? He came in his father's name and they did not know him. But if one come in, in his, his name, they would know him. And it reads, John 5, 43, it says, I have come in my father's name and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, him you will receive. So indeed, he did come in his father's name because the first part, first part of his name is Yah. The last part of his name is Sha, Yahusha. Because Sha means to save. Uh, they were saying the left of the A, the last part of his name because it means to save. And the first one means Yahuwah, his father's name, means Yah, save through his son. So we can see clearly that these persons who call themselves Jews are not of, you know, the old soul of the Mosai, but they are a synagogue of Satan. They have totally, totally defamed and derogatized his name. As you can see clearly that 
from many many sources you can see that they're saying that the name in latin jesus in latin mean earth pig but we don't use that name because his name is not jesus his name is yahusha if i tell you that my name is john and you keep calling me bami or clayton or you know any other name i would be upset because i would think that you're mocking me because i told you my name you know but let us read his name in the scripture as it should read for it is taken out of scripture in the in the king james bible 973 times imagine that so let's put it back here for a sec and see what it reads for whosoever shall call up on the name of yahusha shall be saved whosoever shall call on the name of yahusha shall be saved that is romans 10 13 and you in first corinthians 6 11 it says and such were some of you but you were washed but you are sanctified but you are justified in the name of yahusha and by the spirit of yahuwah beautiful isn't it when you read scripture with the name the right name the correct name the name that it should be written in it is so beautiful well in modern time you see they have not they have not only whitewashed his name but they have also changed his name and made him into an image of you know blaspheme and abomination which they see the picture of cj bogier saying that he is jesus well he can be jesus he can keep that name he can be the earth pig i don't mind but as you see the picture in front of you is saying that halo was inherited by christianity from ancient egypt who worshiped the the sun for all the gods of pe of the people are worthless because they worship the sun god instead of the son of the most high imagine that they worship the sun god instead the son of the most high but let me continue to put his name in some more scriptures to see how it is you know pronounced or by stretching forth thy hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child yahusha and that is acts 4 verse 30. There's power in the name of, of, of Yahusha. Have you seen some pastors saying that they cast out demons in Jesus' name? They would they would be there for hours sweating and you know hitting even hitting the person saying, Come out in Jesus' name. It will never happen. All those fake pastors see on TV saying that they're casting out demons in Jesus' name. Well, they're casting out demons in demons' name. But however, let's move on. And the seventh return again with joy, saying, Adonai. Well, Adonai in Hebrew means Lord. Well, we mean master. Sorry, they put Lord there, but it should be master. Even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Even the devils devils are subject unto us through thy name, Yahusha. Let me just read Psalms 96, starting at verse 4. It says, For Yahuwah is great and is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the people are what? Idols. But Yahuwah made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to Yahuwah, O families of the peoples. Give to Yahuwah glory and strength. Give to Yahuwah the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his court. O worship Yahuwah in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him, all the hurt. See among the nation, Yahuwah reigns. The world also is firmly established. He shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. To my brethren, friends, family, viewers, I say this. Know the name, love the name. Yahusha is our Messiah. As you, I left the Hebrew chart, the Asian Semitic Hebrew chart, as you look up, way across your right, you will see no J in Greek. So how oh, would they now say that our Savior's name is Jesus in English if it translated from Greek? But it doesn't matter to us because we know that all names, no matter what landmark, no matter what language, cannot be changed. Vladimir Putin in Russia is still Vladimir Putin. Saddam Hussein in Iraq is still Saddam Hussein. So Yahusha in Hebrew should remain Yahusha. Farewell. Till next time, brethren.